Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna set up in our bullet journal for April. I'm so excited to do these spreads. April's gonna be a great month. I just wanted to show you that I'm listening to The Girl on the Train as I set up today. I've been hooked on audiobooks and no, this is not sponsored. I wish it was. But moving on, I wanna show you the inspiration for this month's style or overall theme, I guess you can say. I usually base the theme more on the colors or the style of the lettering. And I've been playing around with a very different style from what I'm used to. And I'm just showing you some examples in my sketchbook here. And I'm going into my Arteza brushes. I have them stored in this container, which I'm gonna be painting soon. Uh, I might do a video on that, a supplies video, so stay tuned for that. But I'm picking out a purple and a yellow pastel kind of colors that remind me of Easter or April or springtime. Of course, you can switch out the colors for ones that you prefer, but these worked out really nicely for me. I'm also picking out my purple mild liner pen, which is a nice pastel color as well, just to get some different tones of purple in there. And then the yellow is just kind of like a basic yellow. I don't think these have shade names on them, these Arteza brushes, but I love them so much if you follow me on Instagram then you already know that I've been addicted to these and I will link everything down below if you want to check them out but I've been reaching for these over the Tombow brushes because these are more like an actual paintbrush using my Tombow food no suki pens as well my hard tip and soft tip plus my white gel pen and I'm using my Pigma micron pen this is the graphic one Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's move on to the good stuff and start setting up our title page. Okay, as for the title, I'm just gonna sketch the word April really large in the center of the page, and I'm using my Faber-Castell sketching pencil to do this. And then I'm going right in with my purple Arteza brush pen and going directly over the pencil marks, which I'll erase over later on. But I like having the pencil marks there, mostly because if I don't have them and I just freehand with the markers, then I tend to leave bigger spaces between the letters, if that makes sense. I feel it comes out more seamless and proportionate when I sketch it in pencil first. So that's what I do. And then I'm just adding some very minor details with my Zebra Mild Liner pen, also in purple. And basically I'm just doing some strokes in the middle of the letters. I just think this adds a nice subtle touch. You don't even notice it from afar, but I just think it looks nice. Once that dries down, then like I said, I'm going to erase over it just to get rid of those pencil marks. And then I'm picking up my Pigma Micron pen, the graphic one that I mentioned earlier. And I'm just adding some shadow effects very lightly. I'm not making thick, bold strokes or anything. I'm just adding slight shadows just to make the letters kind of look like they're jumping off the page and then after that just to further that three-dimensional kind of look that I'm going for I'm using my white gel pen just to add some lines and dots at the bottom of the letters it just adds the highlight very easily and then I'm happy with how the title looks so I'm gonna go in as usual do my calendar right below it just like a quick reference kind of calendar And then that's it for the title page. Very simple. Flipping to the next page, this is going to be my monthly overview. I always do this as my first monthly spread. And I'm doing similar letters as I did for the title and going in with the same materials. I'm making two columns, one for personal and the other for business, just to keep them separate and organized. And I'll just write on either side of the dates, which I'm writing down the page now. And then next to that with my Zebra Mild Liner pen, I'm just making another column for the weekdays. Going in with my yellow Arteza marker. This is gonna be more of my accent marker, but I'm gonna use it for the titles as well. You'll see as we go along, but I'm just gonna go over the words personal and business just to make those stand out and kind of blend in with the theme a little bit better. And then I'm going in with the same marker and I'm highlighting the Sundays just because I want this page to be very quick and easy to use. So I don't wanna to have to reference any of my other spreads. So including the weekdays and highlighting the Sundays is the easiest way for me to do that. 
that. And then that's it for that spread. That always looks good once it's filled up. And then moving on to the next spread, this is my favorite. This is the monthly affirmation spread, which I introduced last month and I love it so much. It's so helpful to me. And I believe in affirmations that they're so important to reaching our goals and becoming the best version of ourselves. So yes, I do need the whole page to do that. I want it to stand on its own and I can also add to it. It can be a whole page long and I'll just read it every day. And lately it's just been my favorite spread. So that's it for the first two and then moving on we're doing our habit trackers of course and I'm just going back in with the purple Arteza marker and adding the same shadow effects. I like to section these off by category. The first one's gonna be productivity, the second one is health, the third one is clean, and the last one is mind. So my habits that I'm keeping for productivity are writing, journals, I sell journals as you guys know. So anything that has to do with my business is under journals, and then YouTube of course, if I film, edit, upload, or research. Under health, I have eating clean, exercise for my dog, which is very important to me, and then Pilates, which is my favorite form of exercise. For cleaning, I have vacuuming, laundry, and then deep cleaning, which I usually do on a weekly basis, but I still wanna keep track of it. Keep in mind that for this spread, you don't always have to do just daily habits. You can include habits that you intend to keep on a weekly basis, for example, or just an occasional basis even. Or as you'll see under the mind category, I have gratitude, affirmation, and deep breathing, which are habits that I should be doing multiple times per day, to be honest. So another idea for you guys is to make categories like I did, only have some be daily, some be weekly, and some be occasional. I think that's a really good way to stay organized as well but enough about the habits moving on to the mood tracker I'm sticking with my same format that I've been doing for a long time I love this format and it's been working great for me and if you haven't seen my other videos I'll just do a quick explanation I have the dates going down the page and then I'm going to be doing bar graphs to represent my mood based on the percentage each day that I would give my mood. Basically like a rating and then on the side there after the week is over I'll go in and write a paragraph just summarizing my mood for the week and the factors that affected my mood and then notes for the future to improve my mood. Next up, we have something I'm carrying on from last month as well. This is my daily wellness tracker. And I love this because I've been having a lot of issues with my sinuses and allergies and just feeling really lightheaded or nauseous frequently from allergies. So I wanna keep track of exactly how often I'm feeling bad. So when the month is over, I can make observations based off this with my other trackers to see if there's any patterns. On the left, I'm recording my overall health, basically how I'm feeling. And then on the right side, I'm gonna mark down my exercise, the type and the time.
The next spread is a new one that just came to me. This is going to be my profound thoughts spread and anything that I want to maybe research at a later time or anything that I learn or just anything that's been on my mind a lot, I'm going to write down on this spread and I think it goes really well alongside my daily wellness tracker. Last month I did a intermittent fasting tracker which worked out pretty well for me but I noticed that it was pretty much the same every day because I've been following intermittent fasting pretty religiously. So so I didn't think I needed to carry that on to this month because I have a handle on it pretty well now. So I thought that the profound thoughts one would be a fun new one to incorporate into my routine. This spreads just for fun. I'm getting married at the end of the month and I basically just want to have a page dedicated in my bullet journal where I can just take notes on how the day went and just record it so that I can always look back on it. I think that would be so nice. I don't want to miss an opportunity to do that. I do have a separate wedding journal that I've been using, but I want to have a page in my bullet journal as well since I do plan on keeping this journal forever. This one I left out the purple and the yellow of course. I'm just doing black and gold because black, white, and gold are my colors. So I'm so excited to fill out this page. And for the page next to it, I wanted to think very carefully what I would want next to a page like this. And although I don't love the colors next to such a kind of simple classy page, I still think it ties in with the month perfectly. And as I fill up these spreads, they always end up looking better. So I know this will come together perfectly later, but this is gonna be my gratitude log. As for the weekly spreads, I sit down and do all of these at once at a separate time just because it's a little bit more relaxing and we cover a lot in these monthly setups. So I just prefer to do those at a separate time, but I'm gonna use the same format that I'm showing you here. It just happens to be most practical for me right now and I've been enjoying this format. So it could change month to month, of course, Okay, so I'm just gonna go through and show you all the spreads that we just made together. I really like how they turned out. It's fun and different from my usual style. I love experimenting with new styles. It keeps me motivated to use my journal on a daily basis. I really hope you guys found this to be inspiring or entertaining or helpful in some way. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe because I make these videos every month and you won't wanna miss it. So I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video.